Hello, my name is Stefan Rettenberger with Adva Optical Networking. Today I'm joined by Christian Ilmer, our Senior Director for Enterprise Solution Management. Christian, good morning. Good morning. Christian, over the last few weeks, I had a lot of journalist and media interest in transmission security. Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit about why does it matter? Until recently, even we as a manufacturer of fiber optic transmission systems, we told our customers that fiber optic transmission is basically safe and you cannot tap into a fiber optic link as it transports data. But as we figured out over the last two, three years is that it is possible to tap into a fiber optic link and we have seen attacks to fiber happening recently. Uh, so it becomes critical to protect the data as it gets transported between data centers. Because today, enterprise customers, they're do, doing everything to protect the data within the data center. They have things like video surveillance or um, on-site security stuff, but they're doing nothing to protect the data as it travels over public ground. And this is, happens, uh, this is happening when you are transmitting data over a fiber optic a cable. Okay, so Adfa's business and solution is to connect data centers to provide the transmission equipment for that. Um, I think it's not that intuitive for most people how you can actually tap into a glass fiber. Can you explain to us how that is done? So there are some obvious point of attack like a splice cabinet or a street cabinet where you would have easy access to the fiber plant. Um, but there are more sophisticated tools available. For example, you can have uh, couplers, fiber optic couplers, that are bending the fiber a little bit, and by bending the fiber, a portion of the light is leaving that fiber and can be detected with sophisticated detection me mechanisms. So, if I understand you correctly, all you need is physical access to the fiber, bend it, a portion of the light comes out, you can detect it, and Correct. basically listen. So, we are showing something like this, small tool here which is a fiber optic coupler and as you can see we have removed the plastic coating of the fiber and we're running the fiber core through that machine the fiber gets bent a little bit and if i would close this fiber optic coupler then some of the optical power would leave the fiber and could be detected it could be detected by a receiving mechanism and then you would be able to read the data that travels along this fiber path here um, now, this device, as I can see here, is part of a larger security demo that you have set up for us here. Um, can you explain a little bit what you're showing in this? Yeah, so we were trying to visualize the topic of encryption. What we have is a sender, and the sender basically is running a video stream, which is shown on that notebook here, and this video stream is then handed off to a fiber optic transmission device from Atva, and this transmission device is transporting the data over two fiber spools, each five kilometer of fiber to the other end. And at the other end, we have a receiving device, which is also a notebook. And as you see, this notebook will show the very same video, which is streamed from that end of the link over here to this end of the link. And here, once again, we're using our WDM transport technology to receive the data and to then hand it over to the notebook that is showing the streaming video. Okay, so data is generated and transmitted from the far end over several kilometers of fiber being received over here. What happens next? Yeah, so this would simulate a link as you would typically have it between two data centers transporting mission critical and very sensitive customer data. What we are also simulating is in the middle we have an intruder and the intruder is using this tapping device which we have been showing earlier. And the intruder is using a very similar notebook to show the video. And he's also using a various, very, very similar WDM product from Atva to receive the data. What we will be doing now is we will be hacking into that fiber optic link by using this fiber optic coupler. And what I will be doing is I just close this coupler and then some portion of the light will leave the fiber and will be detected by this WDM product. And as you can see, the video that original, originally was only supposed to be shown on the receiver also appears on the hacking or on the intruder device here in the middle. Okay, so I did notice two things. First of all, like you said, the guy in the middle, the intruder can see now the very same video. And I didn't see any change in this screen here. So is there any way for the receiver or the sender to notice that there was an intrusion event? 
Basically, it will be very difficult to detect this. First of all, we didn't cut the fiber, so there was no traffic interruption. You can really do this during operation and you would not see any bit flipping or you would not see any loss of data at the receiving end. What you can detect, detect though is that there will be an additional loss uh, which is applied due to this fiber optic coupler here. And in this demo, what we also have is we have an OTDR device which is shown here. And this OTDR device is capable of monitoring the fiber link and of showing any changes in the behavior of that fiber link. Okay, so um, what I understand is now you can Despite the fact that the fiber is not cut, there's a change in the fiber characteristics that by optical line monitoring or the OTDR, you can notice that the characteristics have changed and that something has happened. However, that doesn't protect you from somebody listening into that. Correct. So first of all, we have tools available to monitor the physical behavior of that link. And as an example, here in my notebook in the middle, I've taken a screenshot of that OTDR and what you see is basically you have the link which had no loss when you were when we were applying the when we were not applying the fiber optic tap and which has a higher loss when we were applying the fiber optic tap so you can easily detect this tap by running this OTDR tool but detecting the tap is potentially not enough you need to protect yourself from from loss of data so we are recommending to encrypt the data as it runs between the sending and the receiving end so Monitoring the fiber is at least knowing something has happened, protecting against the intruder and somebody listening to your data means encryption. Correct. How does that work? So what we are showing here uh, is we will turn on the encryption right now. Uh, and as I turn on the encryption, those two devices will start negotiating or will start generating a secret encryption key since they are running a huge amount of numbers between them and since they're using a Duffy Hillman uh, key exchange algorithm it takes them about two and a half to three minutes to generate this key but after that they will transport the data in an encrypted way between them and the hacker or the intruder in the middle will have no means to decrypt this data and to read or to tap into that data okay let's yeah, do so it i will turn on encryption now Okay, we are back. Um, two and a half minutes have passed. I guess the two devices, the transmitter receiver, have exchanged the encryption keys. What are we seeing now? Yeah, so what we see now is the sender is sending the data or streaming the video. This is encrypted data now running over those two fiber spools to the receiving end. The receiver receives that encrypted data, decrypts it, and sends it to the notebook, and then the notebook is able to show this video here on the screen. In parallel, we see that the intruder in the middle, even though he receives a valid signal, he has no means to decrypt the signal and he has no means to send a valid Ethernet signal that would contain the video information and thereby, or therefore, no video is showed on the display here. So the intruder is basically locked out of this communication stream. Okay. Now, you have shown this demo to customers to people that have some interest, what would be the key or target audience for you and the users that might be interested in this type of solution? So we see the biggest interest in the financial market uh, where they are afraid of losing sensitive customer information or customer data. So whenever they connect their data centers over dark fiber running through public ground, then they have an interest in encrypting this data. And therefore, the biggest or the best response we see from institutes like national banks, uh, banks in general, insurance companies, so they all feel the threat and they all see the need for a solution like that. On top of that, we have managed service providers which are offering managed services to those type of customers and they also feel that this kind of feature is a very useful addition to their product portfolio. Okay, I understand. Then I hope you all enjoyed this little video and live demo of our encryption demo. Christian, thank you very much for guiding us through this. If you would like to learn more about our products and solutions, please visit www.adfaoptical.com. Thank you for your attention.